Hello, everyone, and welcome. It is Wednesday, and the crew has assembled. I'm telling you what, we got some great people. You know what we always say? The crew is strong. The crew is wise. Um, we have, there's one of our guys right there. There's Art. Um, we have a few uh, really accomplished people on our crew, and it's a really eclectic mix of people, which I really enjoy. The conversations flow pretty easily. And everyone has a little bit of things in their life that uh, they focus on that we may not know about. Um, that's not the case with Chris Sanders. God damn, he tells us everything that's going and he will not shut up. <laughs> uh, no, um, Chris, I've, I've had a chance to spend some time with you on the um, Meteorites After Dark uh, podcast, if you will. That was a really enjoyable time. Um, so I, we've spent some time chatting and I know you've been pushing and talking about this, but can we talk about just for like three minutes, your new book, please? We can, you know, one of the things Topher, we talk about a lot. And I think as, as a crew, we talk about a lot is the importance of meteorite education. Um, you know, this is meteorites have clearly been around for a long time, but it's gaining a lot of popularity and it's a really cool way to engage kids about space and all the different career potentials within that. And I spent a lot of time in schools. I was actually in a school today and I brought a bunch of meteorites. Uh, this was a summer camp, um, elementary school age kids, and I'm showing them the meteorites and they think it's all cool. And one of the things I've wanted to do for a long time is be able to sit down and before I show them the meteorites, actually like read a, a book to them about it. Most of the meteorite books that we have on our shelves and we read are pretty dry. They're science yeah. books. They're aimed for adults. Uh, there wasn't a good one for kids, so I decided to write one, and and that's what we have here. This is um, this is Milo and the Midnight Meteorite. Um, it's a story I wrote the book, and my good friend Nicole illustrated it. And it's a story about this little guy Milo and his dog Rocket. He sees what looks to be a meteorite fall outside, goes hunting for it, gets real sad because he can't find it. Goes to his local observatory, meets a meteorite expert named Stella. She teaches him all about meteorites, and then he goes back on the hunt. And well, does he find it? Well, you have to get the book to figure that out. Yeah, but, they don't ruin it for me, man. I'm only yeah, I'm not going to spoil it. <laughs> I'm not going to spoil it. Um, okay. But now the whole idea is I wanted a book that was engaging, entertaining, visually exciting, but also scientifically accurate, right? You know, it's it's not really in the weeds, right? It's aimed at like elementary school age kids, but you want it to tell real stories. And it uses terms like regmaglyph or, or flow lines or fusion crust. It talks about all these things we talk about here every day. So, you know, we put this together, had some great um, insight from folks on the crew, Topher you and, and Pat Brown provided some, some great thoughts on this and helped make sure it was up to a high standard of accuracy. And now I'm able to take this to schools. I took it to the school today, um, read it to the kids. They loved it. They were super engaged. And, you know, the great thing about it is we talk about Milo and his meteorite. And then I can open my case and say, well, look, Milo is a buddy of mine and he let me borrow his meteorite. And here it is. Um, I love it. I love it, my man. Yeah. And this is the actual meteorite that the book designs were based on. So I was going to say, it looks exactly like the cover. Yeah, it's the exact one. And it has some regma glyphs. It has some contraction cracks. It's got a little bit of everything going on. It's my favorite education piece. Wow. That is great. I re I'm really happy for you, man. Uh, and and, and I, I appreciate you allowing Sue and I to be uh, creative uh, in, in the process with you, uh, doing a little bit of fact checking, but also just being a part uh, of the journey with you, um, getting weekly updates, promoting it. For the fans of the channel, there's an actual whole video dedicated to Milo and the Meteorite uh, book months ago. So search the channel for that, for finding more information. Uh, Chris, you're going to share with Sue all your information to people. So in the, in the contact or in the comments, I'm sorry, description, you'll be able to buy your very own copy. And, you know, don't, don't stop at one, right, Chris? Buy a, buy a shelf of them. <laughs> buy them for the whole family. Be birthdays are coming. Christmas is only like nine months away or something ridiculous. I don't know. But but no, bomb, they're designed to be given away too. We've got an option on the website where you can actually buy two copies and get the second one at like a big discount. But the second one will actually give it away. We'll give it to a school. And, and that's one of the reasons I did this and doing this project. A lot of the proceeds are being donated to fund space science education. But we're also giving tons of these away. Whenever I go to a school, like the one I did today, I read a copy of the book and I left it there with them. So now they have it and the kids can read it and be engaged by it. Um, we're also doing, you know, we're donating little pieces of meteorites, you know, here and there. Um, so kids can have them of their own. And, and this is kind of funding a lot of that effort. That's amazing. Chris, your, your heart is in the right place and it's right where I'm, I'm with you, man. I'm, we're right in the sweet spot together and I appreciate everything you're doing. I, I wish 
that we I wish we lived in the same town we could do this crap together I could film in your studio because you have a <laughs> uh no uh, no you awesome. could come film in my studio and I could come raid your meteorites so I have more things <laughs> <to do. laughs> so, um no because you are very very active in the education and we definitely appreciate that sharing it with with the next generation um so uh, thank you very much. And I really hope the book, the book is very successful in whatever way you're measuring that. Awesome. Thank you so much. You bet. Uh, I want to share another book with you guys that was uh, published by self published by someone on our crew. And um, Pat, if you could highlight me, this is going to be a book that is from Maxime Denonson. If that name sounds familiar, that is because he is the asteroid miner. So um, I'll wait. You can, I'm going to pause it. You can pause the video right now. Pause. Go subscribe to the asteroid miner on YouTube and come back. Okay. Thank you very much. Now that you've subscribed to Maxime's channel, Maxime Denolson, I'll tell you what, this guy annoys me because <laughs> He is more successful on my own YouTube channel than I am. <laughs> he has created a series of, I think, four videos that are in the 50 shades. Uh, so this is the 50 varieties of space and earth rocks. But the video series is called 50 Shades of Meteorites. And Maxime is just such a good photographer. I mean... This is this happens to be a, a meteorite that I want myself. Itwi. Um, the reason why this book is so nice is you can get people interested with Chris's book, and then once they get into meteorites and they want to know what types are available to collectors and what is going to spark their interest, you can buy a book like this. Check the description for how you can get yours. And uh, you can see what, what meteorites actually look like, real meteorites up close. Each one is named, weight, provenance, and a description. So really good information. Very, uh, obviously it's an easy read, but it's the next logical step. Wow, this is, this is an unbelievably rare meteorite right here. Uh, it's the next logical step in, in the book that, that Chris has, the, you, the Milo and the Meteorite book, and then you get him interested in this one. But this is absolutely phenomenal, and I'm so happy to be recognized in here with my wife. Some of the samples came from us. And I handpicked uh, that one for Maxime. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, so what's neat about this, too, is it's not just space rocks. In the very back, there are tektites and earth rocks. So Sue, if you would please, do you have some information? Oh, look at this. Black I do, beauty. just just a little, just a, a few um, fun facts. Um, nice. So you were right, um, the Asteroid Miner has made four videos for our channel. Um, I'm expecting a fifth one soon, Maxine. Um, and three of those four are actually in our top 10. I know, um, the top two videos are in the series. So if you want to see these videos, just go to our channel and search for five zero and then the word shades, 50 shades. Um, and so all together, um, his videos are just under 809,000 views. Wow. 809,000 views. The watch time is literally almost, let me see here. I mean, it's crazy. It's almost 50,000 hours of watch time. Wow. <laughs> so, yes, that's why Topher's annoyed. <laughs> I, I'm so annoyed. I, I am. No, he's actually a really good friend and a really good partner. And, I mean, look at the photography, guys. This, this is something that is just a, a joy to, 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 to go through. And it was honestly a labor of love from one of our friends. So, I know that... Uh, that Chris put a lot of time in with his, uh, with, in, with his project and his artist. Um, Maxine put a lot of time into this project and uh, he'd be really, really happy if you were impressed and wanted a copy for yourself. But in the very least, 
go and watch his videos. Enjoy them on our channel. They're absolutely free. You can leave a comment directed to Maxime uh, in the comments and thank him for, for his absolutely free videos, his, sharing his photography and his collection with us. And again, it's just another way to enjoy the meteorite hobby. So thank you guys very much. Chris, I wish you very much success with Milo. I hope he becomes a celebrity on his own. And everyone have a great week. Thanks for watching, guys.